With every new year comes a new colour to worship from global colour authority Pantone. So as we enter the new decade, we thought we'd take a look back at the last 10 years of Pantone Colours of the Year. And the countdown starts now. 2011 was a big year. Charlie Sheen was winning. Adele released Rolling in the Deep and cleaned up at the Grammys. The Harry Potter blockbuster film series came to a close and Prince William and Kate Middleton tied the knot. But most importantly, Pantone gave us Honeysuckle, a sherbet dream of optimistic pink. We saw this shade used in fashion, wedding color palettes. Even Visa took the color on, producing a honeysuckle colored credit card. In graphic design, Honeysuckle brought vibrancy and was used as an assertive highlight across print and online media. In 2012, our ears were shredded with Call Me Maybe and Gangnam Style. One Direction took over the US, E.L. James's Fifty Shades of Grey hit bookshelves across the world, and the Summer Olympics took place in London. But the Pantone Colour of the Year Tangerine Tango really brought the heat, sending dramatic vibes through design in 2012. The exotic hue was used across fashion and cosmetics, it made its mark on patterned home accessories, and was used for that all-important pop of colour in graphic design. In 2013, Kim Kardashian gave birth to Northwest. Hugh eye roll. Jennifer Lawrence tripped onto the Oscars podium, and Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth got engaged, then proceeded to spend absolutely no time together because she was off twerking at the MTV Music Awards. In less trivial news, Pantone released their Color of the Year, wowing us with Emerald. The envy of even the Aussiest of Aussians, its luminous countenance lends to connotations of beauty, new life and prosperity. Lively and radiant, the classic elegance of this emerald hue was a hit in the fashion world, making a strong statement in women's formal wear and men's sportwear, knitwear and ties. Enhancing green eyes, emphasising the green tones in hazel eyes and intensifying brown eyes, Emerald was also used in cosmetics as a dramatic eyeshadow. Graphic design-wise, Emerald was used as a dominant colour in opulent patterns and as an accent or highlight across marketing and web design. 2014 brought with it Frozen and the Adele Dezine debacle, the most disappointing TV finale of the decade, the Ice Bucket Challenge, and Groot, the cutest tree man a few words. On the design front, Pantone champion Radiant Orchid, an enchanting floral colour with fuchsia, purple and pink undertones. This modern, versatile tone was adapted across the fashion and cosmetic industry and even saw some love from hairdressers. It also made waves in interior design across beautiful statement pieces. On the design front, Radiant Orchid saw the re-emergence of floral patterns both for print and online media. In 2015, Hotline Bling was ringing in our ears as the body-positive comedian Amy Schumer caught her big break, Broadway box office smash Hamilton hit the big white way, the long-awaited Star Wars The Force Awakens film was released, and pop culture phenomenon Game of Thrones lost its primary attraction. Rich, robust and earthy, Masala was Pantone's choice for 2015. Described by Pantone as wine red, this tone is reminiscent of a hearty meal in the depths of winter or the thick roots of an old tree pushing through the earth. With the warmth of a mulled cider, this colour is a match for almost all skin tones, so it was popular in both the fashion and cosmetic industries as a muted winter layer or a bold lip. In graphic design, Masala was primarily used for typography and rich textured backgrounds. 2016 was the year for mourning some of the world's most influential celebrities. It was also the year Leo finally got his Oscar, the year the world went crazy over Pokemon Go, and of course the Olympics in Rio. In 2016, Pantone couldn't pick just one colour, so they didn't. For the first time ever, the Colour Wizards selected two shades for the year, Rose Quartz and Serenity. Both softer pastels, Rose Quartz is a gentle, ethereal tone, while Serenity gives off a calm, cool air, like a clear sky just before sunset. Rose Quartz and Serenity were both adopted widely, with fashionistas swapping bold nail colours for muted shades, and graphic designers using the juxtaposition of warm and cool colours to create a sense of equilibrium and balance. 
Donald Trump was inaugurated in 2017. La La Land accidentally won, then immediately lost the Oscar for Best Picture. The Me Too movement took flight, and Beyonce announced she'd be having mini B twins with that odd photo on Instagram. Known as Nature's Neutral, the 2017 Colour of the Year Greenery was symbolic of the world's shift in focus towards a greener way of living, giving an organic, natural and raw look to designs. Greenery was prevalent in day-to-day -day life in everything from plant-lined office spaces to the green juices that many began slurping religiously that year. Envato was obviously ahead of the design curve with our logo. But elsewhere, the colour was used to bring leafy environmental vibes into graphic design. In 2018, we saw the Queer Eye revival soar and the Roseanne revival flop. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle got hitched, Ari released Thank You Next, and Cardi B threw a shoe at Nicki Minaj. Who throws a shoe? Honestly. Ultraviolet was the colour that marked 2018 as a year for invention and imagination. The provocative and thoughtful purple shade signals ingenuity, creativity and a pioneering vision, giving us all the future-bound vibes. This colour packs a punch, so in print and web design, the use of ultraviolet was filled with intention. While on social media we saw photo filters that incorporated ultraviolet hues. 2019 saw Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's controversial performance at the Oscars, the Jonas Brothers returned with Sucker, fans were divided over the finale of the cult classic Game of Thrones, and Lil Nas X's Old Town Road smashed the record for longest running number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Living Coral lightened up the year and gave us a sense of summer all year long. The combination of orange and pink gives us this energetic shade with golden undertones. Inspired by underwater life, like our old friend Nemo, Living Coral's vibrant hue is perfect for both highlights and dominant block colour and graphic design. Fashion took the cue with splashes of coral hitting the runways, while paired with crisp whites, the shade brightened beach-inspired interiors. The high contrast look also took off in graphic design, with whites and soft blue complementary tones used in keeping with the summertime theme. The 20s are here again, and with them comes a refreshing new colour of the year. Classic blue was Pantone's selection for 2020, and its comforting familiarity was welcomed across industries. If we look back 20 years ago at the colour of the year in 2000, Pantone selected another lighter blue shade. With cerulean being the colour of the sky when the sun is shining, and classic blue emulating the hue of the sky as the day ends, it feels like we've completed a two-decade journey and are about to step into the next chapter.